Here is a video of our first uh, semester week one notes. Um, so this first thing is rounding rules. And the first thing we need to know is milliliters. Milliliters is probably the most important one we have in nursing, right? Many medications are done in nursing. So here we go. So milliliters, right? Abbreviated um, ML, ML, capital L, lowercase m. And if it's less than one milliliter we're talking about, so a small dose, right, small little amount of milliliters, then um, we round to the hundreds place, hundreds. So an example of this would be something like 0 0.5. This is not a hundreds place, but the nine is in the thousands place. So if we want to round that appropriately, since nine is more than five, we round to 0 0.58, round, round the seven up. Okay, so if greater than one milliliter, we round to the tenths. So example... Right, would be um, 27. Let's see, do you say we did some math and we got 27.64. Um, and we wanted to round to the tenths place. So to round to the tenths place, we take um, the sixes in the tenths place. So that's what we're looking at. So if we take that's not what I wanted to do. If we take the six, the four, which is right after, it doesn't matter what's after the four, it matters what right after the six. So if we take that six, right, and since it's a four there, it's less than five, we round down. We say we keep it where it is. So 27.6 milliliters is the answer. And I should have milliliters here. Units are very important, so we want to write them. Okay. So let's go over kilograms and pounds. So kilograms and pounds aren't as important. Typically we round, right, in kilograms is abbreviated with a kg, kg, and pounds is abbreviated with LPS. I don't know why. Don't ask me. I won't tell you because I don't know. We round both of these to the um, tenths. So um, not as important as milliliters because mostly you're rounding these when you're talking about weighing somebody or a baby or something like that. So tenths is what we round to. So an example again would be if I wanted to um, measure myself. I'm not going to say how many pounds I weigh, but let's say I weigh to 127 point um, six six. Pounds. So, right, this is already rounded to the tenths place. So, um, many, many um, weighing systems actually already round this to us. So, we'll talk about rounding and where to round a little bit later. But there's an example of pounds or kilograms, whichever one we have. So, milligrams, milligrams, abbreviated MG or grams, abbreviated G. Both of which are are uh, rounded to the third thousands place, so thousands. Thousands, which is three decimals away. So an example, again, would be uh, 0 0.2579. Um, Right, grams or milligrams. Not many things do we have to do. Our, our answers are end up in milligrams, but there it is. All right, so let's continue on. Let's talk about a couple things. Um, the um, the uh, <coughs> people, uh, the nursing professors, told me that we need to go over. So trailing zeros and leading zeros. So trailing zeros. What is a trailing zero? A trailing zero is something like when I do some math, I might end up with something like. 1.05, think a dollar and 50 cents, which is fine for dollars, but if we're dealing with something like um, 
um, milligrams or grams. Um, so if we're dealing with, let's call this milligrams, this last zero, this trailing zero in that last place has no purpose and is actually confusing to people sometimes. So, um, so whereas with a dollar and 50 cents, it's not right. But here in milligram terms, it is. So what we would do, it was, we would round this, right? Not really round, but we would just cut off that trailing zero and write it as 1.5 milligrams, even though our, our way we round milligrams is to the thousands. We don't need all those zeros afterwards. It's just confusing. All right. Same thing goes for leading zeros. Uh, well, kind of the opposite thing, I should say. The opposite thing being, so if I had, um, for instance, uh, one, uh, point seven five point, so there's a point seven five milligrams, right? Point one seven five milligrams. So, Right. Um, this is a little confusing because we're missing something here to kind of really be able to see this dot. Right. And many doctors write really fast and nurses and people in general write really fast. And so you might miss that dot and you might think it's 175 milligrams as opposed to 0.175 milligrams. And that would be drastic a, a, a difference between a medication from one to the other. So to, to avoid that confusion, we add leading zeros. Right. Even when we te even when I teach, I have to add the leading zero because my decimals can be a little bit off because I'm not the neatest person, as you can probably see from the video. Okay. So we have to add this leading zero. All right. Just like on the opposite way, we get away from the trailing zeros. No trailing zeros. Yes to leading zeros. Okay. So that's leading zeros and trailing zeros, okay? So watch out for those. They told me they might take off some points from you if you leave them there. All right. So military time is another thing we use a lot because it's confusing if I say two. Hey, meet me at two, right? I don't know whether I'm talking about 2 a.m. or 2 p.m. because nurses work around the clock depending upon what time they have, whether they have the graveyard shift or not, right? So since we have that, um, let's go over how we write in military time. So military time is pretty easy for most people, right? So, right, so 2 p.m. So anything in the p.m.s, right? Anything in the p.m.s, um, we basically, we add, we add 12 to it. So, right, so instead of saying 2 p.m., we would say 14 Right, adding 12 to 2, I get 14, 14, and then we need the minutes, 1400 is what we would say. Let's meet at 1400, and that would be less confusing because there's no 2 p.m. or 2 a.m. Which one is it? I don't know. Come to work at 1400. So in the, in the nursing department, they use military time. So let's do it again on the next one. So I got 945 p.m., so it's p.m. again, So which means that I have to add 12 to 9 making it, what, 21, I think I did this wrong the first time I did it, I said 19, but 21, oops, I did something totally wrong, so this is not what we do, right, I do not put, oops, I erased my zero up here, so I do not put, I cannot put uh, those colons that I actually put there, so, right, so it would be 21, adding 12 to 9, I get 21, 45, 20, 145. So something like that is what they say. I'm not exactly sure what they say, but that's, that's the time. All right. So 945 PM is 2145. That's how we, how we say the military time. All right. So how about 815 AM? All right. This is AM. So here's the trick, right? We do nothing. So we do nothing. Technically though, I still need four numbers no matter what. So I add a zero at the front. 815 is the time. So going backwards now, we can get 2205 as the time. 2205, I would need to subtract 12 from 22, which would make it 10. And then we add the 05 at the end, right? What time is this? This is more than 12, so we have PM. So we have 1005 PM is what 2205 is. Okay. And that's military time. So now we'll try it, right? You can pause this video if you want and try it yourself, right? And then I'll go over each one really quickly here. So, all right, go ahead and pause now. And now I'm going to go. All right. 
So, right, so I want to round. I want to round 10.785 milliliters. Appropriate, that is over one. So I'm going to round to the hundreds place. So if I'm rounding to the hundreds place, right, um, if I'm rounding to the hundreds place, then I need to look at the number next to eight. That didn't work the way I wanted it to. So I need to look at this eight, right? And we are going to round, we're going to look at that eight, and then we're going to say, okay, well, this five right next to the eight tells us where to round. If it's five or more, we let the eight score, meaning I'm going to add one to the eight. So it's five or more, right? So I'm going to add one to the eight. So making it 10.79. Oops, I totally did that wrong. Okay, so this is good though, right? I messed up how? I messed up because this is over one and I need to round to the tenths, not the hundreds. So let's back up. So okay, it's okay. Back up. I'm going to erase all that. I'm going to erase all that. Let's go back, right? It's the tenths. Go to the tenths, right? I'm looking at the seven, right? So, but again, right? The seven is followed by an eight, which is five or more. Five or more, we let the seven score, meaning I'm going to make it 10.8 milliliters. Right, that's all our measurements can do. Right, many times you'll be just be restricted to what you're measuring with. All right, going on number two. So, right, oh, look at that problem. So, something in the beginning missing there. I should really have a zero there. Zero point nine two four nine. Right, milliliters we're talking about. Milliliters again, less than one. So we're gonna round to the hundreds place. Right. Round to the hundreds place. I'm looking at this four. I don't care what's after the four, right? We do not round, take the nine and make that, make that four bigger. So I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm going to look at the two, right? The hundreds place. And then right before the two, it's a four. It's five or less. So I'm going to let this rest. So meaning that I'm not going to change the two at all. I just cut off everything after the two. So 0 0.92 milliliters. That's how we write them. All right, moving on. Now we got pounds. So pounds is rounded to the um, to the hundredths, uh, to the tenths again. There we go again. Um, so to the tenths again. So here we are, right? I look before the tenths. I look at that seven and I say, oh, that's more than five, five or more. So I'm going to let the nine score. I'm going to add one to the nine, making it 10. But if I have make that 10, that means, right, that seven moves up. This seven moves up to an eight. So my new number is going to be one, 128 point zero. Should I write that point zero? Heck no. Let's go. All right. Oops. My eraser took away the eight. So we want to make it 128 pounds even. All right. No trailing zeros. All right. Next, I got 1.4502 milligrams, which I want to round to the thousands place, which is right here. Looking at the previous one, the one before it is two. That's four. That's four or less. So we're going to let the zero rest. So that would be just writing it down and taking off the rest. So this, do I keep that trailing zero? Nope. Get rid of the trailing zero, and my eraser is big and fat, so it keeps losing stuff. So 1.45 milligrams is what we're talking about. All right. Last but not least, right? Nice. Nice problem, Andre. Yes, I'm complimenting myself. All right. So this is um, so this is grams we're talking about, which we round to the thousands place, which is technically this nine. So looking at... The last number right after that nine, that's five or more. So I'm going to let this nine score, which means it's going to become 10, which means this nine's going to become 10, which means this nine's going to become 10, which means this nine's going to become 10, which makes this five, six. Whew. Sometimes this happens. It's a nice Andre problem, though. 
I get 260, and I'm not going to put a bunch of trailing zeros at the end of this, right, and do this kind of thing, because that's just too much and confusing. So let's get rid of that. I do need that other zero, though, that I raised, because that holds the position to say this is 260 instead of 26. So there we go. That's rounding. Hopefully that makes sense. If not, right, you can look up more videos on YouTube. You can come by me or anything. Come by to my office. And we'll do more rounding as we go. All right. So, um, so now military time. Okay. So military time. Um, so turn this 1.35 a.m. into military time. It is a.m. early in the morning. So we don't add anything. We just Put a zero in front because we need four numbers. One, three, five. So that would be the time in military time, right? Same thing with um, 12, 27 a.m. So there's kind of the funny thing about this one is time starts at midnight. So, right? This is 27 minutes after midnight. So, um, so zero, zero, zero would be midnight. Zero, 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 four, zero would be midnight, which means that this, right, we would actually get rid of the 12 here. We would actually lose the 12. So we have zero, zero, two, seven. So this is a weird thing about military time. There is one a.m. where we actually do something with the 12. So, okay. And now going to 4 p.m., 4 p.m., 4, we are talking about p.m., so I'm going to add 12 to 4. So adding 12 to 4, I get 16, All right? And this is hours, so we need our minutes, which is 0, 0. 1,600 hours. So, and again, I have 7 p.m. I'm going to add 12 to the 7, making it 19, and write down the minutes, 47. 1947 is when we're going to meet, or whatever it means. I don't know. So, anyhow, that's military time. Hopefully that makes sense. Let's convert to standard time for military time, just for fun. So, oh, oh, 35. This is 35 minutes after midnight, which would make it 12.35 a.m. Okay. So... 10.05, so, so, all right, I'm saying it, I'm saying it in the right proper thing. All I really have to do here is add two dots right there, right there. So this would be 10.05, and we're talking about AM, because it's less than 12. All right, now we got something over 12, right? This is, all right, if I subtract 12 from 23, I get 11, right down the hours. The minutes is 59. And we are talking about PM because it's past 12, 1200. So and last but not least, 1700, right? 17 is more than 12, so this is a PM. If I take 17 minus 12, that is 5 PM. I don't have to write the zeros there if I don't want to, right? It's not a trailing zero or anything. This is just military time versus standard time. All right. 